Two of the most misunderstood terms in any language are undisputedly the terms capitalism and communism. Generally, when we hear the term communism, we think of uh, the former USSR, uh, Cuba, uh, North Korea, or some kind of system that th those systems did not quite achieve, but uh, a system where the means of production, of course, are commonly owned and everything that everyone produces is put into a pile and some benevolent dictator decides uh, who gets what out of that pile. And then of course anything less than that uh, all other systems are some form of capitalism. And then to confuse matters, we throw in the term socialism to describe something in between communism and, and capitalism when the term socialism would be best used when people get together to form a society of any sort. Meanwhile, nobody is talking about a system where producers trade their wares in a free market. Uh, people are confused about what a free market is. Uh, where everybody pays the same percentage of what they produce towards the common use infrastructure and there is no parasitic class of people extracting wealth from the producers by profiting from the debt the producers incur with each other in the process of their commerce. Now logically we would conclude that this system would be called capitalism and everything else would be some form of communism. So currently people are referring to communism as an extreme example of a system where you have absolutely no say in what you keep of what you produce and then everything less than that is some kind of system where you have uh, some say in what you can keep of what you produce and as you go down this scale of different systems uh, you have more say of what you keep of what you produce and meanwhile no one's talking about a system where you simply keep what you produce or trade what you produce and keep it with the exception of uh, the percentage that you pay towards the common use infrastructure that benefits no particular uh, class or anybody of any particular income level. Now if everyone would conclude logically that uh, capitalism is in fact not on this scale and for instance that buying uh, products made by slave labor is not free market uh, and that everything less than uh, keeping what you earn is communism uh, then we could actually get somewhere uh, in the effort to change the world okay we have to admit that communism has conquered the world and 
what it is is it's not a free market nobody paying the same percentage of what they produce towards the common use infrastructure and we have a parasitic class of people extracting the wealth from the producers uh, by profiting from outstanding debt producers incur with each other uh, by controlling the currency that is created when producers incur debt with each other uh, the parasitic class uh, basically charging a rental fee for that currency this is my first hammer I've been a carpenter for a very long time just kidding uh, now some will argue that because the capital the means of production is not completely commonly owned it is capital and therefore this must be capitalism the thing is the wealth that I produce with this hammer is going to be redistributed to some extent under our current system therefore this hammer is in fact communal it is not hundred percent commonly owned but what I produce with it is going to be redistributed I don't keep everything I produce with it with the exception of uh, a percentage that everybody pays towards the common use infrastructure it is not capital it is something that I will use to produce wealth that is redistributed to some extent therefore it is now communal that's communism in other words if I drive 10 nails with this hammer and I pay and I drive one of those nails for the government for every 10 nails I drive one of them goes to the government somebody else with a similar hammer may drive 20 nails and only one of those nails goes to the government one of those 20 nails that somebody else drives goes to the government because I'm driving more nails per day than he is now you have a controlled opposition war between the Republicans and Democrats over how many nails each one of us should drive for the government depending on our income level while the parasitic banking class uh, leeches off of all the producers.